In this video, we are going to learn how we can use CDream 4 for free. CDream 4 is a great AI model to generate high quality 4K images. And till now that I'm recording this video, I can say it's the best AI model for generating images as I have used almost all of the models out there. But unfortunately, it's paid. You can use it in different platforms, but it's paid. In this training, I will show you how you can use it for free. So let's get into it. So as I mentioned, if you want to use CDream 4, it is paid. You can use it on different platforms. You can go to replicate.com and use it. Or even, for example, I have created a plugin inside Photoshop that lets you use CDream inside Photoshop, work with layers, right? All these images that you can see here was generated by CDream, right? And, but it is paid for every image that you generate, you have to spend three cent, right? It's not much, it's actually nothing comparing to what it will give you. But for some people, they may not have access to some payment plans or to some of these platforms. And that's why I decided to record this video and show you how you can use CDM4 for free. So all you need to do is to come to this website, lmrna.ai, and this platform let you test different AI models, practice, try them, compare them uh, with other models to understand these models much better. Now, every new model that come out, they will also add it to their list. And the way it works is that you have to come here to this website, click on battle and change battle to direct chat. Then come here, click on this image icon. So it jumps on image generator. And then from the list here, you can see all the image generator models. As you can see, we have, for example, Gemini 2.5 flash. And if you scroll down or you can write it in the search bar, you can see CDream 3. And here we have CDream 4, but only it is on 2K. So if I just click on it, we have CDream 4 on 2K. And uh, I can just write a prompt here. Generate an image of a glass of orange juice beside a pool in summer, right? I can write this and just send it. Now it has its own limits. For example, we can only generate 2K quality. And also uh, you can generate a couple of images every day. Then it will restart the next day. But again, if you don't have access to CDream at all, this platform is good for you to test it or create some cool images with it. As you can see, it's really, really good. It's really amazing. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how also it will look like inside Photoshop. So I'm just going to turn all layers off. I'm going to select the whole page. And here is our prompt. CDM4 is selected. And now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm, I want you to compare it with other AI models as well. I'm going to turn on Nano Banana and I'm going to click on Generate. I didn't turn on Quen because if you use Quen to generate an image from nothing, right, it will do a bad job. Quen is good for editing an image. So if you have an image and if you want to edit it, Quen is really good for that. So as you can see, C Dream result is ready. Nano Banana is now generating the image. And in a moment, we can see the result here inside Photoshop for our prompt. So. This is the nano banana result. As you can see, it didn't uh, generate the image for the aspect ratio that we had, but it looks okay, right? And now here is the result for CDM. And if I zoom in, you can see we can have a look at small details on the glass. And it's really amazing. I really like CDM4 and Till now that I'm recording this video is the best AI model for generating images. And the good thing about using these models inside Photoshop is that you can work with the layers. You can add mask to it. You can add, for example, I can write a text here, then ask. This is one of the things that I usually do when I want to create um, YouTube thumbnails. Let me show you. It's really interesting. So this is my title. Okay. I just write it here. I'm going to. Let's put it on, let's put it on yellow or orange, right? Close to the color that we have here. 
And one of the cool things that I do a lot when I'm using CDream inside Photoshop is this. So I put my text here and now I make a selection for the whole image and I write down So I wrote down, keep everything exactly the same, just make the text glowing. So we can add different style or maybe change the font, change the style of the text or change some of the things here. For example, change this orange juice to something else or add an orange here. So I'm just gonna click on generate. And again, the good thing about using CDream or the other AI models here inside Photoshop is that you can add your own elements inside your design and then make changes using these AI models. All right, the result is ready. Now, this was a simple example. We can say, for example, it's glowing and the light are on the, for example, other elements here or different changes, different professional looks. Uh, I have talked about it in my other videos. And if you are interested in this topic, don't forget to like this video. So I know you are interested. So I create more videos on this topic. And also don't forget to subscribe because in a couple of days, I'm going to publish more videos on Seadream. I will talk about tricks and strategies that you can use inside prompt to get a better result. It will be really good. I'm sure you're going to love it. So that was all for this training. If you have any question, you can write it down below in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions, I will read all of your comments and respond to all of them. I hope you like this video and I look forward to see you soon on the next training.